Um, I thought long and hard about this move, uh, and it's going to be my attack tutorial. Uh, I also want to apologize, it's kind of windy, so if the audio gets a little buggy, I'll try and speak loud and audible. Okay, so attack looks something like this. And it's a pretty fucking nasty move. Prerequisites for this move are um, scoot full, possibly a rat full would really help with the understanding of it. And maybe some other full variation like cork and whatnot. What attack actually is, alright? There's two different attacks. And this is because there's the Takaraba, which gets short in attack. Then there's the attack, which is attack 9. But people just lay off the 9 if they don't do the, uh, the round kick at the end. What the Takaraba is, it is a cheat setup into a front flip. Kind of like an Arabian of sorts, but you go toward your cheating leg. So if you cheat in, like this, you raise your leg, and as you raise this leg, you front flip that way. Not this way. That throws your axis a totally different way. You want to flip that way. And talk a front flip. I do believe that that kind of, like a Takaraba is not necessary for learning attack. I'll try and demonstrate Takaraba for you right now. So the difference between Takaraba and Attack 9. Attack, once you throw that front flip in, technically it is supposed to go into a full twist round. From that point, it's basically turning into an off-axis half kind of round. A way to think of it is cheat setup Arabian half round. Once you blend it more together, it's a cheat setup full thing. The way a lot of mainstream trickers do it, and like myself, is like a rap fool almost. And the way this works is when you cheat up, then wraps around like that, and you and twist in for a full. When you do it out of a scoot, it really helps you like drive your momentum the right way, especially with the cheat. So the way to do it out of a scoot is once you scoot around, you want to land sequential, which is one two. You also don't want to land feet together like this you want to land with them one behind each other trailing leg steps on the ground then you pick up and twist in that way this move is not very difficult but it's hard to wrap your mind around then the round is basically you know like you could you could round kick that way that way or just kind of do that flick at the end um, I'm going to demonstrate a few more attacks from different angles, then variate it a little bit.